Welcome to Tammy's Ripping Kitchen. So today I wanted to show you a little bit of a food haul. I just got back from grocery shopping and I thought I would put everything out on my table before it goes into the fridge, just so you get an idea of what to shop for every couple weeks. So I grabbed a bag of my green lentils. I use those quite a bit for burgers, lentil loaf, goes in lots of soups. They're really, really good. Really good for you. Got some snow peas, cucumbers, zucchini, garlic and ginger, and a firm pack of tofu. Got some mayo that I make my sauces with, some garlic, some baking soda so I can soak some of these veggies, daya cheddar, a shreds, and I've got some lettuce back there, sweet potatoes, carrots, kale, got some mushrooms. The mushroom section was quite low today, so didn't have uh, too much of a choice there, but we love mushrooms. Some coconut milk and a yummy looking papaya there, tomatoes, cauliflower, some little potatoes, green onions, lemons, red, red onion, delicious looking oranges, some strawberries, tomatoes, baby spinach back there, pineapple, some grapes, a little bit of a spring mix and arugula, and green peppers, broccoli, beets, and some bok choy, celery. So yeah, that was my food haul for today. I did not buy a case of bananas, normally I do, but we've got some still in our drawer that need to go into the freezer. And I also wanted to show you a few things that I do get for my shakes every morning. So we've got some hemp hearts. Uh, this is some maca powder. I do get all this from the bulk barn. Chia seeds, some protein powder. I like put, putting in some cacao nibs too. Uh, blueberries, I actually bought eight of those. We always stock up on the blueberries. Uh, almonds to make my almond milk for the uh, smoothies. And then I've got some raw cashews and some almonds. And then we do add in a little bit of chocolate milk to our shake, just a tiny bit though, not very much. That'll last at least a week, if not 10 days. So yeah, there's a bit of my food haul. And yes, I still do use the plastic that's in the stores. Please don't judge me for that. I am doing my best. I do use uh, reusable shopping bags. Oh yeah, and there's the um, my big bag of blueberries. So yes, I normally use those bags and I still use the plastic bags at the store. I still haven't um, gone that far and decided to take my own, but soon I'm sure, baby steps. So yeah, there we go. There's a food haul for today. I hope it gives you some incentive and inspiration to go into the produce department and pick out a few things that you wouldn't normally buy. The nice thing about this is when you have all these fruits and vegetables in your fridge, you have such a variety of recipes that you can try. So yeah, there's, the possibilities are endless, endless, endless. Uh, one thing I did notice, it's funny, as I was unpacking these groceries, there's a lot of green. Don't know if you noticed that. And recently, yeah, so most of these veggies on my table are green, which is quite funny. Um, and that is related to the heart chakra. And with Valentine's just passing, that just came to me a couple days ago because I um, was running my groceries down in my fridge and I noticed that most of the things that actually stayed good for the period of time that I hadn't shopped, they were all green vegetables, like peppers, lettuce, zucchini, cucumbers. So it was quite funny to see that those lasted the longest in the fridge too. So yeah, that's just a little thing I noticed and we need to all start eating the rainbow a little bit more. So I hope this gives you some incentive to 
Uh, start today. Don't put it off. There's so many recipes out there and options and I'm here to help you too. So I would love to hear from you and I'd love to go shopping with you too if you need some help and what to get at the grocery store. And if we live uh, close by, maybe we can go shopping together. So keep that in mind. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this food haul video. I hope uh, to bring you more in the future. So I've gotten everything put away now. I do have an extra fridge downstairs, which I'm very thankful for. So we've got our fruit there on the top. Peppers, bok choy, cauliflower there at the back. The spinach and arugula, and I left the other ones upstairs. Got some peppers and tomatoes, cucumbers. And then I put my mushrooms in my drawer. Carrots and celery down there. Got the peas, beets, broccoli, and ginger and green onions down there. And then I've got some oranges and lemons. And then, then on the door I just put my cabbage, our palm juice, and some applesauce. So there you have it. That's what the fridge looks like when it's all packed full of this wonderful food that God has graciously given us on this planet. Then I do have some mangoes here. I was ripening them and then they were just going wrinkly. So I did end up putting them back in the fridge and I just took them out again. They're not the greatest, I don't know. Just haven't had much luck with mangoes the last couple weeks. And then I'm just set, letting my avocado sit out. Full of goodness. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon.